Hey, good afternoon. Today is Friday, June the 28th, 2024. And the time now is 1.49 p.m. So, I was very young when Nelson Mandela was uh, free. Uh, but, but though I was young, I heard many times my uncles, uh, sometimes uh, the, the big ones, the old ones. In Africa, people were often gathered around uh, the radio to listen to the news. BBC focus on Africa and so on. So in the 90s, the early 90s, late 80s, early 90s, the way most Africans got their news, especially the men, okay, the papa, and the grandpa and all these guys when they are playing checkers or whatever games ludo or they're hanging out eating fufu and living african lives okay they always gathered around uh radio and listen to the news so i heard uh about nelson mandela uh we watch and listen to the news about south africa uh growing up in the the early 90s the most popular movie that i watched many times or one of the most popular movies that i watched many times was sarafina okay the famous movies which basically depict uh the experiences of black people especially young black people as well who were protesting uh apartheid south africa and how the apartheid government basically did as uh it wanted the way it uh, brutalized uh, Africans. And uh, Nelson Mandela was finally free. So I heard about it. I did not learn about it in school. But when I got older, I realized as I became older and began to uh, become educated, I began to realize the significance of what was happening in South Africa or what had occurred in South Africa which I could not uh, comprehend at the time, okay? So I will first apologize for deviating. I know you look at uh, the title of this, uh, this talk, this program or video, however you want to say it, and it basically states that Julian Assange is free to go, okay, or had been released. But I am starting with Nelson Mandela. Because I wanted to paint a picture for you to work with here. Now, I am not trying to compare Nelson Mandela to Julian Assange or to compare Julian Assange to Nelson Mandela, okay? Mandela preceded uh, Assange. And their battle is very much uh, different, okay? There are big spaces, okay, between uh, the battle of uh, Nelson Mandela and those of Julian Assange. However, as much as Nelson Mandela was one of the most significant, okay, icon of the 20th century, the, uh, uh, the entire 20th century and the, the second half of the 20th century. And so far, Nelson Mandela is one of the most uh, recognizable face or faces and is one of the most prominent uh, uh, figure, icon of this century, this uh, 21st century, because his deeds is still relevant to what uh, we as people are experiencing in the global community. And that is so much so the case uh, uh, pertaining to uh, the situation in Gaza, okay? between the Palestinian people and Israel, okay? Where images of Nelson Mandela continue to echo. Now, Julian Assange is no Nelson Mandela. However, it is obvious that Julian Assange has become one of the most uh, polarizing, but one of the most recognizable and one of the most significant political icons of this century so far this time our time okay and this is because of what he did 
and the consequences that he had experienced for the past what uh, thirteen to uh, uh, eighteen years or so. Okay, if you will. So yes, once again, Julian Assange is no Nelson Mandela, but he has become one of the most significant icon and political prisoner of this uh, social media dominated information age. Now, Julian Assange finally walked out, okay? Basically prior to the deal being uh, uh, disclosed to the public, to the rest of the world, he was basically transported uh, out of uh, the, the, the jail, the prison in the UK or London or so, transported to uh, where he was supposed to be uh, on trial, okay, during the, the trial where he, he basically was read uh, his rights and so on, okay? And finally on Wednesday, Julian Assange set foot in Australia, on Australian soil. Now, Julian Assange, okay, basically had been uh, in jail in the UK since 2019, and prior to that, he had been in the Ecuadorian uh, uh, embassy, okay, seeking refuge, basically, as a means of protection. And that is because the U.S. had been trying to get this guy. Julian Assange, the founder of WikiLeaks, okay, basically uh, uh, published classified documents which uh, exposed uh, some of the uh, activities of uh, uh, U.S., the United States in Iraq during the Iraq war uh, dating back to 2004 or so and basically it is said that about 9,000 or so uh, uh, document classified document were uh, published by Julian Assange and WikiLeaks which basically exposed many things that the United States had done okay or prominent members in uh, uh, politics and uh, geopolitics, global affairs, had been doing. And as a result, he had been a polarizing uh, figure and they've been trying to get him. Now, it is very interesting, uh, the things that he, he exposed, that he has finally walked out of uh, jail, he is finally free and he is in Australia. But again, I want to express suspicion because I don't know how free he is and I don't know what the deals were that were struck. Yes, it is said that among those uh, deals that he is not going to uh, publish the remaining uh, documents or those documents that he hadn't been published and also cannot speak to the public about many things so it is very uh, interesting and suspicious but we are in a world especially those in the west where people often propagate the notion that they are free we are in a free world compared to the past and that those in the united states and in the rest of the west are free but then my question is are you really free are we as a global community really free and if so what freedom do we have how free are we how free should we be how free uh, uh should we be allowed to express our freedom what freedom should we have and so on and so on perhaps you can add to uh these questions but uh yes mr assange is free but then the question again that i'm going to ask what now is he going to expose the rest of what he know? And especially if he did that because he wanted to expose the illegalities of governments and of institutions around the world or in the West. Is he going to stop? Is he going to continue? So the situation relating to Julian Assange is very significant given uh given that we are in a social media dominated information age given that we are in a world where the rich and powerful often stress the notion of freedom and justice and all sorts of nonsense 
which they never follow up on. Given that millions of people around the world, or billions for that matter, around the world, and in the various countries, okay, whether we are talking about in the rich and powerful countries, as well as in the poor countries, are hungry and thirsty for, for news. They are hungry and thirsty for the truth, okay? They want justice. They want freedom, okay? And what Julian Assange did, as much as the rich and powerful had been trying to get him, there are many around the world who view him and what he did, okay, his actions as, uh, as justice, as justifiable, and they view him as a hero. Now, we are in a world where we know less than what we think we know, and also we cannot comprehend all of what we know or what we think we know. We are in a world where the truth hurts, and not only because the truth hurts, but because the truth kills. The truth uh, enslaves. The truth uh, uh, brutalized. The truth is painful. The truth uh, uh, is traumatized, is traumatic. The truth hides. The truth uh, 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 place the blame, okay? The truth uh, uh, divert the blame. The truth impose. The truth is a lie. So I don't know where I'm going with this, but I basically once again want to paint a picture for you and i want you to join the conversation i want you to help me understand the situation that we are in as a global community surrounding julian assange what he did and how we can uh, uh navigate because what he did and the fact that the united states and others have come at him, it is not only threatening to him but it is threatening to others around the world and in the various countries who would dare attempt to expose the deeds of their governments, the misdeeds of their government. In that case, we must ask ourselves, and you must ask yourselves, okay, are you free? Are we free? Because it is bad that governments and institutions and uh, figures propagate the notion of freedom. But then, when a journalist decides to uh, act upon his freedom, okay, to uh, carry out justice, to hold on to his First Amendment, his Freedom of Speech Amendment, okay, to expose the misdeeds of a government or of certain individuals, people, institutions, he got basically agitated. He got traumatized. He got sent to jail. He was running for his life. Now, Mr. Assange is free, but then is he really free? Where is the United States going with this? Where is Australia going with this? Where is the West going with this? Are they going to try to get him somehow? Because the truth is, I understand or believe that it is not over for him. Because he exposed a lot. And also, there are possibilities that he knows a lot. He knows more than uh, what was exposed to be or to have been exposed by him. He knows a lot that hasn't been exposed yet. But I also do feel as if, even though they are letting him go, there is a possibility that it is an attempt to prevent a possible humiliation or a possible scenario where, where he could be harmed and then governments are going to be criticized and he's going to be a political icon for the ages, okay, for his suffering. So I just want to stress that. But I do believe that there are 
lots of things relating to his uh, 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 his freedom. Okay, him being let go. Now, I want to end by reading the description for this program or this talk or this video, and then I will tell you to have my thanks. And I'm going to read. The topic for this video or program are, is T-A-H-I Geopolitics Episode 4 WikiLeaks Julian Assange pleads guilty for freedom. Basically, the topic is Trends and Headlines in Geopolitics and this is Episode 4. WikiLeaks Julian Assange plead guilty for freedom. I'm going to read. WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange has been released due to a deal with the United States. While Nelson Mandela was the most prominent political figure of the second half of the 20th century, Julian Assange has emerged as the most notable of this social media dominated information age. He's exposing several activities relating to the United States and the activities of prominent global figures has won him endless praise around the world and condemnation from those who he exposed. He also helps the world recognize that freedom is not freedom. And we are not a free world because we can be prosecuted for doing our jobs when our actions expose the misdeeds of those we trust. Mr. Assange was in prison from April 2019 to June 2024 and had previously sought refuge or protection in the Ecuadorian Embassy in London. Questions or comments? Number one. Can we speculate that part of the deal requires Mr. Assange to return document he already has and refrain from publishing anything else or sharing further information with the media? Is it possible that the deal require him not to talk to the press? That is basically the case, okay? He is basically being required to turn in the remaining documents which he has not published yet. Number two, are there any hidden agendas for Mr. Assange's release? Number three, is he allowed to speak to the media? If so, about what, how, and to what degree can he reveal all he knows? Number four, will Mr. Assange be let go for true or could they harm him to silence him finally? And this is especially if he decide to talk in the future. Number five, what role did Australia play in the deal to release Mr. Assange? What pros and cons were weighed and what deals were struck? Number six, is Assange's release a let bygone be bygones move among Western leaders and governments to avoid humiliation. Number seven, while Assange's release may be a victory for free speech and for journalists who dare to release classified documents in the future, we must accept that Assange is a citizen of a Western power or allied country which could have helped his argument or his case. However, victory will be difficult for citizens of other countries, especially the poor, the weak, the powerless in international relations, and even for U.S. citizens. So these are the questions, but uh, I do apologize in many cases, I repeat myself, but a couple of things that I want to address right here before I end. One being that uh, I ask whether part of the deal that 
uh, let Mr. Assange free was that he is not going to uh, uh, disclose or publish the remaining documents which he has. And it is said by sources out there that as part of the deal, the remaining documents which he has that he hasn't uh, published, he will turn them in. But then if he talk to the media, to what degree is he going to talk to the media? What all can he say to the media and how? So that is something that we have to look at in the future. Uh, yes, it is said that he is free. He had uh, plea guilty and so on. But we also need to look for how this thing unfold and what uh, they could be saying to and about Mr. Assange in the future. Because what he did uh, was profound. And I think that even though I know uh, one of the sources that I read, uh, the judge basically stated that the fact that he had spent so much time in prison and in isolation does count for uh, the sentence that he was supposed to be getting. Now, it is very interesting that Julian Assange basically admit uh, that he is guilty. And this is basically based on the sources that are out there. I was not in the, in the court. Things could have been fabricated to make him look bad. However, based on the sources and what they are saying is that he admits uh, guilt. Okay, He accepts the guilty uh, plea. And in one statement, a CNN statement uh, basically reads, he appeared in a U.S. courtroom on the Northern Mariana Islands to formalize his agreement, officially pleading guilty to conspiring unlawfully to obtain and disseminate classified information over his alleged role in one of the largest breaches of classified materials in U.S. military history. Quote, or quote open, I am in fact guilty of the charge, Mr. Assange told the court in Saipan. And he basically argued his First Amendment. And this again is a CNN article or headline. Uh, and I'm going to read. Asked by the judge, Honorable Ramona Manklona, to describe what he had done to be charged. Assange said, working as a journalist, I encouraged my source to provide information that was said to be classified in order to publish that information. I believe that the First Amendment protect that activity. I believe the First Amendment and the Espionage Act are in contradiction with each other, but I accept that it would be difficult to win such a case given all these circumstances. That is a loaded statement. That is a big deal. Basically what he is saying there is, look, I have a First Amendment to speak freely, to publish freely. And the First Amendment basically guarantees uh, freedom of speech, the press, which means you can uh, publish freely. Okay? So once again, the First Amendment guarantees freedom of speech, press, assembly, petition, and uh, what the last one? Speech, press, petition, assembly, and religion. Yes. So the First Amendment to the United States Constitution guarantees five rights. Freedom of speech, press, petition, assembly, and religion. So he basically makes a very strong argument in this case. And I'm going to read it again. Asked by the judge, Honorable Ramona Menlona, to describe what he had done to be charged. Assange said, working as a journalist, I encourage my source to provide information that was said to be classified in order to publish that information. I believe that the First Amendment protect that activity. I believe the First Amendment and the Espionage Act are in contradiction with each other. But I accept that it would be difficult to win such a case given all these circumstances. That is a big statement. Even though I am right, 
I know I cannot win because I am going against the big dog. But that's it, friends. I am going to end here. Please tell me what you think. Please join the conversation. I want to hear from you. But thank you very much for watching The Echoing Voice. Peace.